Hello all, uh, welcome to today's topic on how to delete relationships in CDGC. So for today's agenda, I'll be discussing about deleting relationships using CDGC UI and deleting it using bulk input process. So there are certain prerequisites that needs to be followed in order to do the bulk import. Let's talk about that. So the first prerequisite is uh, import privilege to your user role. And the next one is export privilege to your user role for the search results that you will be doing in order to do an export of the asset. By default, the government's governance ad administrator role has both the import and export privileges. And in order to download the Excel template that you will be using for import process, you need to have the role asset read permission on the role asset in the administrator service. And to do the CRUD operation on any asset types, you need to have permission for that as well. I'll show everything in the demo directly in the administrator uh, screen. Let's take a look into the demo. So if you go to the administrator page and click on any role that you are a part of, and you need to go to the services and click on this drop down and click on administrator first and check for this role asset. Role asset should have a read permission on. And then go to data governance and catalog and features. You need to have import and export permission enabled. Then go to the MCC page, MCC uh, perm service, metadata command center, and then assets. So you need to have the CRUD operation uh, permissions for the asset type that you will be doing uh, any modification on. For example, in this uh, demo, I'll be doing it on business term. So I have create, read, update and delete permission on that uh, asset type. So uh, with respect to this demo, I have two business term. One is address underscore test and then address underscore test two. So this address underscore test is related to address underscore test underscore two. So I have manually created this and I am the stakeholder for both the assets. So there are like two ways you can delete the relationships. So one is using the UI where you will see this uh, delete icon. So this will be available only in the parent asset. So address underscore test is the parent asset for address underscore test underscore two. So if you go to the address underscore test underscore two, even though I'm the administrator, I mean stakeholder, in the relationship tab, you won't see and delete function. So delete using UIs is pretty simple. Uh, you, you click on uh, the delete icon and the uh, delete will be uh, performed. So we'll take a look into the uh, deletion using bulk import. So for that, you need to first click on new and then import assets. And then you need to first download the download import template. So click on download and you have to click on relationship. So only relationship uh, should be uh, fine for this and click click download. So after downloading the asset template, uh, import template, so you have to edit the relationship tab here. So here in that, under the source asset, you have to give the asset ID. Asset ID is a unique ID so that uh, if there is like uh, two assets with the same name, so you can differentiate with the asset ID. So it is better to use the asset ID here. So source asset ID and source asset type is business term and the target asset ID and the target asset type is business term and you need to have the relationship type how it is related to and click on the operation as well you can do delete or create operation so if you go to the annexure you will see what are the different types of asset types and what are the relation to the other asset types for example business term to business area can be related to and business area to legal entity can be related to a model to subdomain is to, can be related to so in all these kind of relationship types can be found in the annexure 
and also you'll uh, see the uh, instruction on how to do a bulk import after filling out the template you have to go to new and then import asset and click on import asset click import and you need to upload the file here choose the file and upload so once uploaded uh, there will be a job that will be uh, kick started and here you can see it will see it will delete it will show like what is the what is the one which is deleted or if it is got if anything got created or updated so here we deleted the relationship so deleted is equal to one so this uh, import job will have a job id as well so if there is any errors like we can uh, check on the job id for any errors as you can see after the import job is uh, done there is no relationship between address underscore test to address underscore test underscore two let me refresh this yeah so we would love to hear your feedback please reach us on support videos at informatica.com thank you